The James Cooley Show. It's your life. James is a motivational speaker, author, military veteran, and founder of the James Cooley Foundation. James is here to equip you to strive for greatness and to overcome adversity. It's time to get equipped today for the challenges of tomorrow. Now, here's the host of It's Your Life, James Cooley. Hello, welcome to It's Your Life. I'm James Cooley, and wow. You know, uh, it's always an absolute pleasure uh, to have this uh, guest on. She's one of my favorites. Been knowing her uh, for close to 12 years. Have watched her blossom. And, and, and you know, uh, uh, you plant a seed and, and, and you see it and you water it. And and then you, you, you make sure that sometimes you... Uh, you have to make sure that they get the right nutrition and the food plants and and all that other stuff. But we're, we're talking to one of my most favorite people in the whole world that I depend on a whole lot. And uh, she doing some absolutely magnificent things. We're talking about Dr. Talisha Berry. And also the CEO and the founder of Courageous Woman Magazine. Not just Courageous Woman Magazine, but uh, uh, I can tell you I've been in her magazine at least three times. And so that means that she got a heart for me and as well. <laughs> I don't mean that to be negative. But uh, now this woman is so, I, I, I can't even come up with the words, uh, but she's so intelligent. She's so uh, visual where she can foresee things. And the only thing I can tell you, listening to the audience, if you're not listening to the show tonight, she's not just my friend, my share friend, but she would be your friend as well because she's an extraordinary entrepreneur writer, editor, author, the Baptist junkie. <laughs> we'll talk about all those things later. So, uh, uh, Michelle, how you doing today? I'm doing great. Um, it's almost the end of the week. Uh, I'm doing great. I'm really excited about, you know, Talisha being on the show today. I mean, she... You know, I, I'm, I'm. We're so proud of her. We are so proud of her, and she is such a good, a sweet, and a generous woman. I, I just can't wait to listening audience. You get to know her as well. And Noah, man, uh, I, I don't know if you know this this young lady like I do. She's been on my shows even before we became a live show uh, several times, and uh, she's been in a couple of my play actually. She was a director of a couple of my plays. Uh, her kids are heavily into the arts. Uh, and all four of them. Uh, uh, but you know what? The, uh, her, uh, Talisha, I can only talk about her. That uh, the few do not fall too far from what gave you life. And Noah, uh, this woman is extraordinary. Yeah, I, I'm you know excited to find out more. She's been on the show here since you've been live a couple of times, and as you just said, she's you know known you for quite a while. So I'm eager to find out more. Well, I have known her for quite a while. Yeah, she had known me as well, but we have collaborated. Uh, we have uh, we saw the growth of both our project products, and I am so proud to have. Dr. Talisha Berry. And Nora, whether you know it or not, uh, most of the, uh, I wouldn't say most, but our Detroit guests, there was no way we would have the fire chief on uh, my show. And you know who I'm talking about. He's a good friend of yours. He was on yesterday this past weekend. Oh, the police chief. Yeah, Ralph. Ralph, Ralph Gottby. Ralph Gottby. Uh, and uh, Talisha's from Detroit, and she turned me on to all of these absolutely fantastic guests and guess what she continues to do it so 
I'm, uh, you uh, know, she can keep bringing it, but uh, I just want to thank her personally as she's listening. Thank you for the God be connection because that man's outstanding. She listening. She the guest. She better be listening. I know I don't have her up on the board though, so she's uh, just no, listening to the band. No, no, she's you know looking absolutely uh, simply gorgeous as always. And uh, Michelle is uh, uh okay. Michelle, I get, I get it. I get it. I get it. It's time for us to get this magnificent show going. So, Michelle, uh, can you, first of all, tell our listening audience what the title of tonight's show is? Yes, the title of tonight's show is a conversation with award-winning CEO and Editor-in-Chief Talisha Barry. Wow. Uh, Can you tell our listening audience the purpose of tonight's show? The purpose of tonight's show is getting to know the background of Talisha Berry, talk about her career in the field of publishing, and as a writer, producer, and director, discuss Courageous Women magazine and its spin-off publications, and discuss the books she has authored. Not only that, but she got so many things in. I would say in the business, she got them in the works, is what we call it, the works. And uh, Facebook audience, uh, uh, YouTube audience, uh, Instagram audience, streaming networks, which is a lot of them uh, that's live and listening right now. If you want to be part of this great conversation, that's one 344 Let me again. That's one eight 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 three four four eleven seven. Michelle, I can't. I can't wait. Can you just introduce? Can you just introduce this? Great guest to our listening audience. Yes, Talisha Barry is the CEO of Strive Publishing and editor in chief of Courageous Women Magazine and its spinoffs, Courageous Men Magazine and Authors Who Launch Magazine. While transitioning from married to single and overcoming that stress, Talisha transformed the Courageous Woman blog into a community print magazine with faith, determination, and the thirty dollars she had in her bank account. Twenty twenty one marks ten years of publishing more than one hundred cover stories. That includes Vanessa Bell Callow. Way, Wendy Raquel Robinson, Monique, and many more. Courageous Woman Magazine has published over 1,000 articles and published numerous books and has helped over 200 women publish their stories and become best selling authors. Talisha Speaks encourages women worldwide to believe in themselves, start where they are, and use what they have to launch their products, services, and books. She has deep roots in the arts. Her love for acting, performing, took her around the country performing as an actress in off Broadway plays. She honed her skills in her first love, writing, producing, and directing theatrical productions with numerous stage plays to her credit. She's currently pitching her screenplay based on her novel, The Baptist Chunky. She's a recipient of multiple awards, including the Women in Power Award, Phenomenal Woman Award, Resolution Award, and many more. She's the mother of four adults, Kendra Berry, a film and TV actor, Tisha, a celebrity photographer, Toy, a fashion model and entrepreneur, and baby girl Kennedy, stylist and student, and one grand son Ezra the James Cooley show it's your life welcomes back Talisha Barry Talisha wow I, I, you know we 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 been, been down this road uh, uh for quite a few years and I just want to say I'm so proud of you uh, I'm gonna ask a quick question because we only got two minutes before the break two minutes. we can start it uh, but and we'll pick it up but two minutes keep in mind I don't want to cut you off two minutes Talisha uh, can you expand on what Michelle just said? You've been a previous guest many, many times on the show. And just tell our listening audience where you grew up. You, you mentioned where you grew up, and that's going to be the, uh, the, the stop point once you explain that. So now you got 45 seconds. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having me on your show. I love you, Michelle. And thank you, Noah. Um, I have been, um, I, I grew up in Flint, Michigan. Um, so I've been, I grew up there and moved here in my mid-30s into California uh, in pursuit of my son's acting career. But I, I am a Flint for life, but I'm a California girl, too, so I love it <laughs> Wow, and we love you too. But I tell you what, this is what we're gonna do, Talisha. And we done been we, we do this all the time. Uh first of all you're gonna turn up uh, the volume a little bit. But we're gonna take a station break and we gonna come back and we gonna pick up this great conversation with my true true buddy, my friend, Talisha Berry. 
And if you want to be part of this great conversation, that's 1 888 Again, that's 1 888 Yes, your life will be back shortly after the break. There's more stories of greatness to help you overcome adversity. Coming up on It's Your Life with James Cooley. Noah Dingley here, producer of the James Cooley Show, It's Your Life. And the new audio version of James' book, Country Boy, City Boy, A Journey That Ain't Over Yet, is a must-have. Now you want to do this, buddy? Okay, so... Sense uh, in America. What we're going to do is I'm going to come a back. a cautionary tale and a road the, uh, to achieving the American. Of course, American. So you're going to come back the new audio two, version of come country back with one, city come back boy, with one. A journey that ain't over yet. All right, eh? Okay. Cooley on Amazon.com or wherever audio books are sold. I got the first question, Michelle. The J.C. Cooley Foundation is a nonprofit organization that was... one, and depending on where we at, that's gotcha. where we go. James. Okay. Oh, Noah's calling you. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I, I resent you the Barry stuff. Did you get it? You know, uh, uh, you resent that to me. I did not get it. I got Lethal, uh, Lethia Lewis, uh, but uh, uh, my thing would not allow me to, I mean, I'm, for some reason, it says that uh, you have to unzip the file with Barry. Yeah, I, I, have tr- I have tried, but you sent me another one, and it's like, went through. If you can send it in the same format. Uh, no, I, I, did send it in the, I did send it in the same format. There's literally no difference. Have you did it recently? Uh, Wait, I, have I done what recently? Okay, so you sent me uh, uh, Miss Lewis stuff uh, earlier today. I yeah, don't. I did it the same way I did did the Barry stuff, and and I've sent the Barry stuff to several other people, and it was open fine. I, I I'm gonna try again, but it, for some reason. Hey boy, a journey that ain't over easy. yet. The true life uh, coming of age uh, story by James J. C. Cooley, it, it just, using humor, stays, wit, yeah. and engaging storytelling. Actually, James paints a picture speak, about I'm his arrival right in a rural deep. Sea. Okay. In realization that life would never be the same, Cooley lays out his struggle to adjust from city life. To yeah, because I've sent it to Cammy and a couple of other show hosts, and they got it. So it's just it's kind of confusing. I don't know why it's hanging up like that. Okay. Uh, let me try that again. All right. Okay. That ain't over yet by James J C Cooley. Available on Amazon and. Yeah, you'll like the Lethesia Lewis one. That's uh. That that download no problem. Uh, Just got but, easier. But, uh, Whether you, you need help with routine maintenance or a dream remodel. Uh, I mean, yep, I'm, I did. I just don't understand. The top local Why pros who can get the job in. done right. Plus, you can see upfront pricing and instantly book hundreds of projects. No phone tag. Just the work you need done at a time that works for you. Angie's got your... All right, coming back, guys. All right, no, 30 seconds, sorry. All right, I got... Project today at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot com. Tell me why Relief Factor is so successful yeah. in lowering... Yeah, or we got to, to go through another a way of trying to do this one. Okay, um, so founders of Relief Factor tell me they believe our bodies were designed to be healthy. Inspired, Doctors well, who formulated I mean, Relief I, Factor. I so like, well, the, the one that I originally sent you might have expired, but the one that I just sent yesterday should be good for several days. Oh, got it. It just came in. Oh, I, I'm sorry, my friend. Cool. It's cool. Uh, but, uh, what, yeah, let so, me know if that one works for you during the break. No, or it, it's it's doing it right now, but I, I'll talk to you after the next break. I want to listen yeah, yeah. to them. All right. All right. It's time to dream big, think big, and be big. It's time for more It's Your Life. Now, here's your host, James Cooley. Hello, welcome back to It's Your Life. I'm James Cooley, and uh, we got my very, 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 very great friend, Dr. Talisha Berry. And uh, I tell you, uh, she's an award-winning everything that she do. If she say it, if she touch it, it's going to win. Uh, she's all about winning. And you know what? A lot of times, Noah, you're all about winning. And all you have to do is just be you in character. You don't have to do anything but just be the person that you are. And, 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 and when you touch things, when you're authentic, sometimes it just turns to gold. Yeah, it's a, you know, I, I often find that in, in many different people that I know that usually when they're true to themselves, that's when you have the most success. It's when you're trying to be somebody that you're not, you're going to run into some problems. You run into problems, and this young lady started out with $30 in her bank account. <laughs> uh, we ain't going to talk about a bank account today, <laughs> but uh, you start out with $30 and with a, a dream. And uh, what I like to say, a dream and a hope. 
But she knows just as well as you do. I mean, I think you know that you have to believe in yourself. You have to know yourself, love yourself, accept yourself before you share yourself. And this young lady has done all of those type of things. And you know what? I am a big fan. Uh, uh, and I'm just so happy to call her my friend. So, uh, listen, audience, if you want to be part of this great conversation, that's one 888 Again, that's one 888 Talisha, the four great kids that you have that I have watched grow up uh, and be role models to others, but the role models started out with you and your your ex-husband. You you guys had to be the role models in the beginning for them because kids watch everything. They they look at everything, and uh, I tell you, I've been a role model for you for years because I mean you and I've been friends, and I have watched you and I have watched you grow and I have learned from you. So can you tell our listener on a little bit about the growth process, the pain that comes sometimes comes with that, and just. Uh, tell about this a little bit you know my my sound is going in and out so I didn't hear that that last part you said tell them about the growth of the growth uh, because uh, before we learn to know where we're going our purpose we have to sometimes fall down and get back up because if, if that's our purpose if that's our purpose we have to stick it out to the end right well uh, again, thank you for uh, inviting me to be on this show. Um, you know, I, I've just been a person to, you know, you, you got to get it. you got to win, you know, and uh, I just have grown up that way that, you know, things happen, life happens, but you don't quit. You don't, you don't, you don't sit down. You don't get out, you know, lay down. You just got to keep getting up. If you're alive, you just keep getting up. You know, uh, I tell my kids that all the time. You know, things are going to happen in your life, but that doesn't mean um, that you quit. That's part of your growth, you know. Um, you know, things happen where you, 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 it stalls you or you, you have challenges in life, but you don't, you, that doesn't mean that you stop. You get, you know, I've, I've had my years of getting, uh, being depressed and, and stressed and, you know, going through um, challenging times. And, you know, when I started the publication, I was in a new, new, new place and I had relocated back to my hometown of Michigan and had you know, had to restart my life, really. And I still had ambition and dreams and desires. And I tell people, you want to have those dreams and ambitions. They, they don't mean that you, you know, you'll stop them. You just keep pushing. And I, you know, I had an ambition. I wanted to uh, publish the, a magazine. It was a blog. And I'm like, how do I get this from blog to print publication. I had a friend who told me I needed $30,000 just to start. And I didn't have $30,000. I was missing some zeros. <laughs> so I looked at my account and I had $30. And I'm like, I know that I have the, the skills, the talent, the resources to make this happen. I have to pull those things together and um, utilize everything that I have, everything that was in me, you know, um, and I had that, that energy to do that, and, and I did it and um, pulled some people together, and, and we accomplished it and distributed 4,000 copies of that first uh, issue of Courageous Woman. And that was, um, we're celebrating 10 years now uh, of, of Courageous Woman magazine. I can't even believe it's been 10 years um, since starting as a blog. Wow. So, <laughs> it's, been, it's been a journey. Wow. I just... I'm sure it has been. So, you know, besides, I know you mentioned, you know, someone told you 30000 and you said you only had $30 in the, in the account. <laughs> what are the challenges you experience getting the magazine off and running? Ah, uh, some of the challenges? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was always challenges, and it was the thing about um, seeing challenges, how you look at it. Mm -hmm. Um Sometimes you don't, you have, you see mountains, you just 
you know, you know you got to go over it. You know, you can't always see everything as a, as a challenge, even if, if it is. You got to pull yourself together and make it happen. So there were times when, you know, starting a business, there's always things like financial issues and, you know, just starting out and uh, needing to make sure that we make deadlines because we need to make sure we have the financing to pay for the publication or we need, you know, articles. There's always things that, you know, we had to deal with, um, but we somehow got it done. And that was because we just had a, a winning theory that we had to keep going no matter what. You know, and not everyone even knew about the challenges. That's the thing. And sometimes we have challenges and we go through things and nobody knows what we, we're going through as, as a business as we're continuing to push through. Wow. Salisha, tell our listening audience about Courageous Women Magazine and what makes Courageous Women Magazine different from other women-focused magazines. Well, Courageous Woman Magazine is an inspirational publication that highlights extraordinary women in business and and um, and entertainment. And so, I just wanted to make sure that we focused on inspiring people and motivating people and women in particular who may you know be ha- may have things going on in their lives and you know need that motivation and inspiration that's how I started because I was looking for motivation and inspiration and I just couldn't find enough and so I decided to share other women's stories and those stories not only help the other women they helped me they motivated me so um, Courageous Woman, uh, that's our strongest point, I think, is about motivating women. And not only with the magazine, with the uh, events that we have, with the other books that we write, it's about um, encouraging and empowering women. Talisha Noah here, and I'm just curious on uh, how you're inspired by the different women featured in your magazine. And then after you, after you answer that, excuse me, right before break, I just have to know how you came in contact with Chief Ralph Godby Jr., because that man is so incredible. And I thank you for introducing James to, to the chief, and then James introduced him to me. I mean, the, the guy is just remarkable. Well, you know, we're from the same state, so we all connected there. <laughs> he's from Michigan. I'm from, he's from Detroit. I'm from Flint, Michigan. And um, he's been, just been a really a, a, a staple, a, a person that is just empowering and inspiring people for years. So um, he's very, very well known in the communities um, in Detroit. So I know that, you know, I just listened to him just a little while ago on Instagram. They're, again, inspiring people so that I know that um, if you listen to him, you're going to be empowered, inspired. Yeah, he's definitely inspired us. So uh, back to my first question. How have you been inspired by the women that are featured in your magazine? Have they rubbed off on you and you learned something about yourself from them? Absolutely. We have had some tremendous, uh, in- tremendously inspiring stories and those stories of women who have overcome and you know they they've gone through battles and they came out of it those stories are empowering and inspiring to other women because so many women you know sometimes go through things and feel that they can't achieve certain things but when you see another woman's story who who makes two minutes harder you know um, challenges and but she overcame them and, and succeeded so those stories let other women know that you can and they certainly did that for me wow uh, uh you can you just mentioned that and that is so powerful in anything that you do knowing that you can and uh i tell you talisha uh you and i have went through some experience and we figured out the hard way that we can and blossom just like a a plant or a tree as you water it and you continue to believe and you can and courageous uh woman magazine as well as uh your uh, breakout condition or courageous men and uh, i just want to thank you for giving me an opportunity to be in your magazine three times and and you have instilled in not just me but uh uh, uh most of the world that you can do anything that you set your mind to we're going to take a station break but we're going to come back and we're going to pick up where we at with this great guest, my friend, Dr. 
Talisha Berry. If you want to be part of the conversation, that's 1-888-344-1170. Yeah, that's 1-888-344-1170. Is your life. I'm James Cole. There's more stories of greatness to help you overcome adversity. Coming up on It's Your Life with James Cooley. There is much truth in a journey no, that ain't over yet. As are you, we okay so far? Yeah. <laughs> Just like I have. Okay, Hi, so I'm James Cooley. What I'm going to do? James Cooley Show, It's yeah, Your Life. I'm going to come back. And the new audio version of uh, with my the first book, question. Country Boy, City Boy, A Journey That and, Ain't uh, Over Yet. You can join me as I share my true life story of you struggle to mention, and success uh, something in America. talked about last night. It's both a cautionary tale. Uh, and, and the question, that. second question, life and I believe... I don't know if you Stuck in really life. listen to it need to understand that their current situation Dude. is not uh, their right final destination. Country boy, friend. city boy, a journey um, that ain't that's over where my mind is at right now. The truth is right to hope for all of these by challenges that come to my mind to when I wake up in the middle of life life circumstance. And there to be and, um, and this overcome great girls a bigger, better, and more truly understand that. Like maybe wait tonight is not the time to do that. Sometimes we have to remember a journey that ain't over yet. Regardless of what we might. Audio books or so. Might not the J.C. Cooley Foundation continues to strive to expand its programs and offerings to the youth, young adults, and citizens of our great communities. So, I got the first question. You got the next question. It's our mission to equip the youth of today for the challenges of tomorrow. Okay, I'm probably not going to bring up the life and thing because even though I did hear it last night, I don't think I I haven't used it enough and processed it enough in my head to explain it well on air. Okay, we good. So, uh, and you you know what I'm going to tell the you, J.C. Cooley Foundation thanks you, uh, you the in for your contribution. Uh, talk show. Noah Dingley here, producer and, uh, of the James Cooley Show. That it's more life. I didn't mean it, I and the new audio it. version of James and Book, Country Boy, City Boy, brother. a journey that ain't. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that. You'll love. Uh, <laughs> You'll 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 love the the uh, the thing with Lethesia too. She's one of the most powerful prayer people I know. I got both of them there, uh, but I don't know what happened with the bear. I mean, two days I've been trying to listen to that one there. I couldn't get it, but it just came through. Um, God, okay, but I got it. Wing is not. But, uh, I tell you, let's let's bring this back. Uh, I got the first question. You then, then I want you to pick it up with one. Michelle got two. And I pick it up from there. And two I might from take it to the end from that, from that point. I don't know. Death. Sounds good. All right. Old Trinity at 1. 30 seconds. I-90-6976. When I first called Trinity, the representative understood the need based yeah. on the situation. There were great people to work with. From the first phone sure. call that I made, they okay. had me on a track to mitigate the credit card debt. Trinity will consolidate your accounts into one easy-to-manage huh? monthly payment, okay. reduce your interest, and possibly improve your credit score. So you You'll save question. thousands. Right. Working with Trinity gave me the ability to save thousands of dollars. My name's Doug, and thanks to Trinity, I'm debt-free for keeps. Call Trinity at 1-800-990-6976. That's 1-800-990-6976. FM 96.1, North County, AM 1170, San Diego, The Answer. It's time to dream big, think big, and be big. It's time for more It's Your Life. Now, here's your host, James Cooley. Welcome back to the James Cooley Show, It's Your Life. Listening audience, we have a great guest on the show tonight. CEO and Editor-in-Chief of Courageous Women Magazine, Talisha Berry. And if you want to be part of this conversation and call in and ask questions, please call in at 1-888-344-1170. 1-888-344-1170. She's bigger than just uh, saying that she's a, a, a CEO and author. She's an inspiring, inspiration entrepreneur and a great, great person. And... Uh, uh, listening to audience, and I'm watching you guys on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We got so many folks that tuned in to the show tonight. I just want to say thank you. Oh, well, I want to call out a couple of Howard Nash, the great director, producer, my friend. I see you locked in on the show. Thank you so much, my friend. My nephew, Willie Hayton, Jr. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I mean, and uh, I tell you. You guys are getting a lesson learned from this absolutely fantastic, God-fearing woman. I had to say that because 
Everything that we do, it's all about God. And we cannot do this uh, by ourselves. And so, uh, just like Michelle said, if you want to be part of this conversation, that's one 888 Talisha, tell us about the book title. Prayer can change everything. Affirmation, poem, prayer, story, heal to your soul. Uh, all of these great things. What inspired you? <laughs> uh, to, uh, well, you know what? I have been a praying, I was a praying child, you know, coming from a strong Christian family. Um, that was one thing my grandmother said, you know, always have a, a, a prayer, you know, a prayer in your mouth and a song in your heart. You know, you can get through anything. And so I took that as a, as a kid going through things and I would just, you know, lay in my bed and I pray, pray so whenever I needed um, help with God, that's what I prayed and he always, always, you know, uh, made things right for me. And, you know, um, I wanted to do a prayer book, but when I went through COVID and, you know, it was a really um, dark time for me and um, I survived that. And I said, you know, that was the time I, I really spent a lot of time talking to God. So I said, you know, when I came out of that, I was going to do the prayer book as an anthology uh, I had a lot of women who had overcome things and, and that, you know, prayer was a major part of their lives and, and something they had to overcome. So we put together the Prayer uh, Can Change Everything uh, anthology. And there was uh, 29 authors. Um, unfortunately, we lost an author a couple of days ago to COVID. And um, so that's been uh, very difficult the last couple of days. Um, but that book... Um, uh, became number one bestseller, um, and I'm very proud of that. And I'm uh, very, um, you know, um, it's, a, it's a, one of those heart heartfelt books that you know, listening to or reading the stories of the women who have um, contributed their stories. Their stories are meant to empower and encourage other women uh, uh, on prayer. So um, the book is available on Amazon. Wow, um, just to, to say and just to let our audience know, you and I went through COVID exactly the same time, and we both had the most severe case of that with pneumonia included. And um, not to call a name out, but uh, one of your contributing authors uh, that just uh, passed from COVID, 37 years old, uh, and 32. 32. I, I knew it was 30 something. Uh, but mm -hmm. uh, my, my thing to uh, our listening audience is, is we're, I'm not going to encourage or tell anybody they need to do this, but this is serious. And everybody uh, get an opportunity to make a decision based on what they feel and what they think. Uh, but the consequences that come after that, that's up to to them and I'm just going to leave it as that because I'm not political I'm not that or, or any of those things but uh, Talisha you got so many other publications uh, in the works and I, I am going to be a contributing author uh, to one of your publications and I just wrote a couple and I'm in the middle of my uh, fifth book uh, can you tell our listening audience uh, a little bit about uh all the things that you got going on. Ooh, we got a lot going on. <laughs> we're a magazine. Um, you know, what I most, um, mainly focus on is helping women gain visibility. So we're not just a magazine. We are. We function more like a PR marketing. So we. Um, you know, it's about encouraging and empowering women. There's a lot of women who have businesses, and so they want to um, be featured or on the cover um, because they have a book or a product or services they want to gain some um, visibility. And so this is what we do with Courageous Women, Courageous Men, and Authors Who Launch. And we have a couple other publications that we are that are in the works right now. So we have a couple of um, anthologies coming up this year. I also help uh, women and men write their books. So I have clients, a couple of clients that are going to be out this spring with their um, first book. And so that's um, pretty much 
we we we're doing a lot over here, courageous woman. And um, so we look forward to helping women uh, and men have, uh, you know, when they they're ready to write. Um, a lot of times, people or businesses always tell people, if you have a business or an entrepreneur, you should definitely have a book. If you're looking for um, opportunities to speak and to build your brand, the a book is definitely the I would be I would say high on your to do list. Alicia, you know, a, it, it's something that I've put off over the years, and I've, I, I've had a book in me for a while. Some of it procrastination, some of it just trying to get uh, the right time and the right ideas, and I have a couple of mentors helping me along the way and getting my thoughts together in the beginning stages. But I'm curious because, you know, obviously there's so much that pours into a book. Uh, when you wrote yours, how difficult was it to edit it and to leave some of the stuff out that you actually wanted in there, but there's only so much space that you have in the book because you want people to be able to get through it and not have this like a war and peace kind of a thing. I know I'm going to come across the same issue, but how difficult was that for you? Well, that was a challenge because actually my first book was a novel. It's a, a drama, a Christian friendly drama, and um, just telling the story um, in the in the editing process, I had to cut out a lot of the book. It's already over 300 pages, and, and the first draft was probably close to 500 pages. So um, I did a lot of editing myself, and then I have a, a editor that uh, when I send the final draft off to an editor, um, we, we broke it down some more um, because that book I actually envisioned it as a movie first, but I wanted to write the book. So, um, it's too yeah. bad that there's not like, I mean, maybe there is, you know, book, d deleted scenes from particular books because you see that on DVDs, things that weren't included in the movies. There's so many things just like that that go into to books and magazines as well. Yeah, you have to. You have to edit. You have to, we, we get a lot of articles that are just too long for the magazine, and then the same as with uh, books. We have to have people, you know, um, edit down. Four minutes for, uh, for their chapters when they're when they submit for anthologies and you know even my first book the the Baptist Junkie is um, was written in a, a script I, I did the uh, screenplay for it so the screenplay is 120 pages and the book is over 300 so I had to you know kind of scale down what should be in the screenplay for the movie um, you know I had to take out some things. Talisha, you are a writer, director, and producer. Which one of these roles do you love most and why? <laughs> you know what? I love... Three minutes. Just, just across the board. I've been probably, uh, you know, in every angle of the, uh, from the behind the scenes to in front of the scenes, behind the camera, in front. So... You know, I love performing. That's how I started as a, a kid, about 10 years old. Um, well, I did a lot of church plays, but, you know, I got into the, the local theater in my hometown about 10 or 11 years old, and I absolutely loved it because I was able to play characters that were not me. And so <laughs> I, I, I grew to really love uh, performing. So I'd say, you know, I love performing. Wow. And so, you know, what advice would you give to women who are in fear of launching their own business? I mean, you're an entrepreneur. You, you're doing your thing. There's some women out there who are afraid to face the challenges of being an entrepreneur and, and launching their own business. What advice would you give to them? You know, I tell them, you know, why? Why, are you, why do you want to, to start a business? You know, my why was necessity. One minute. I had children and, you know, I had gone through a divorce, so I needed, you know, double income. So I had a side business with a job and that wasn't working out for me. So I wanted to be an entrepreneur. So I decided, you know, this is what I need to do and I need to really upskill it so that it is, you know, financially, you know, I can do this and not work on a job. And so I always tell women, you know, whatever you have in your heart, wherever you want, you know, first know your why. Why are you doing this? And, and then go for it. If you really, really want to do it, don't be afraid. Just launch, leap, jump, you know, get, get it done. Everything is possible. 
because if one person is doing it, if you see other people doing it, you can do it too. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned something that, uh, Talisha, man, you've been hooked up for almost 12 years. Everything is about the why. If uh, you can say what, what, why, we well, already know my saying, what, what, why, when, how, conclusion. Why are you doing this? And I tell you, just explain that extremely well. We're going to take a station break. But we're going to come back. And we're going to continue. This absolutely fantastic interview with this great person. And I tell you what, if you're watching Facebook, you're watching Zoom, you're watching all, anywhere live on the world, radio, TV, whatever, it's your life. I'm James Cooley, and we'll be back shortly after the brief. There's more stories of greatness to help you overcome adversity. Coming up on It's Your Life with James Cooley. The J.C. Cooley Foundation is a nonprofit organization that was started in October of 2014. The J.C. Cooley Foundation continues to strive to expand its program. I want to ask, an opportunity. I, want to ask I don't know if you'll know again the opportunity. I'm going to have to think I'm about it. I'm going to ask a question. I'm going to have to think about oh, it. Jane, Noah's, Noah's calling oh, oh, yeah. No, I'm here. <laughs> don't worry. Michelle has it from here on out. Uh... Well, I want to ask her about the no, honorary. No, by you saying experience. that, you know that's going to rule two against one. You already know that. And, uh, no, you got to be on my side sometime, man. Cause you I'll know tell you what, I'll, I'll make you a deal. I will be on your side tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow. yeah. We, you, you, we got a great show tomorrow, okay? Well, it's Friday, Friday too. But it's we got friend. an absolutely fantastic guest tomorrow. Noah, you got some amazing difference in the lives of the youth. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Uh, I have no uh, idea. Oh, oh, oh my God. Okay. Remember that every I'm donation makes a difference regardless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, foundation is coming out in advance for your contribution. Country boy, city boy, a journey that ain't over yet. The true life. I think you're going to love it. Good, good. You know, so uh, this is what Give we're going to do when we come back with this one. Uh, okay. Talisha, uh, she uh, has been in a couple of my uh, short films, my plays. I think I remember uh, you telling me that, yeah. <laughs> Hard-earned <laughs> lessons so to fantastic. educate, encourage, oh, and enlighten our next generation of leaders and much. heroes. Get your copy uh, of Country guy, Boy, City uh, Boy, A Journey That Ain't uh, Over uh, Yet by James J.C. Uh, Cooley. Available on Amazon and everywhere really books are sold. For like six years. I mean, that's like, uh, uh, the pursuit uh, Kendra, of Kendra, Kendra, by every measure Kendra we're Berry, Berry, now than Kendra any Berry, time in America's Kendra. history. The problem uh, is we've confused uh, look them up, with I'm a singer, uh, all this, I mean, not all of her kids are politics fantastic. Has really and when if I, he's I bring, a singer, I, I, I may be thinking maybe we need to get him on the show. Well, he's been on the show, and we'll get him back on Progress again. I mean, he, better way I mean, I know them, I watch them the very way. Just watch how I bring the show back in this next segment. All righty. Okay. Uh, we've seen how COVID lockdowns have contributed. <laughs> and yeah, and and and, you're, and and I'm on your side tomorrow. Okay. Uh, how much time we got? Because I gotta get, I gotta step up and look at them and, 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 and work on some more. Um, Thirty seconds. We'll have a little over ten minutes. We'll okay. How much time we got before we come back? Right now. Okay. Families. Be happy. Be a reactionary. Order Michael Warren Davis's witty, provocative new book, The Reactionary Mind, Why Conservative Isn't Enough, from Amazon and wherever books are sold. The Answer, San Diego, streaming now on iHeart.com and Odyssey.com. It's time to dream big, think big, and be big. It's time for more It's Your Life. Now, here's your host, James Cooley. Hello, welcome back to It's Your Life. I'm James Cooley. we got my great friend here, Dr. Talisha Bell. And uh, I, I tell you, I have learned so much from this young lady. I have worked with this young lady uh, over the last 12 years. And... Uh, an author, producer, director, entrepreneur, anything that you want to throw in there. Got four absolutely fantastic, beautiful, wonderful kids uh, that I have watched grow up. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we all have to have role models. And she is the absolutely number one role model because she don't get shaken in situations and circumstances. And a lot of times that uh, we 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 get.
caught up in things. Uh, I, I call it life and and life and is my latest writing, my project, uh, my and I just uh, uh, just completed that one about three days ago. And uh, I have to see what my great producer, my great writer, my great, I'm talking about Talisha, uh, friend, think about that one because she had to deal with this in raising four beautiful kids. And all of them are in, in, the, in, the, in the business. And if you don't know what the business is, that's a, I, I, you, you push that to the side because you... If you know what the business is, the acting business, the modeling business, the entertainment business, and being a parent, trying to deal with this. So, Talisha, my latest writing, which I haven't even brought up to you yet, is called Life. And, and I, I just want to just uh, bounce this off for you. Two minutes. Give me about a minute and a half, two minutes. Because you had to deal with this. Talisha, Life. And many of us live day by day without giving thought or imagination to what life might bring tomorrow. Most of us never think about anything other than what we are experiencing during the moment that they are happening in that particular moment only. Life has a strange way of changing second by second. Many times great surprises or happiness and sometimes sadness occur. I believe we must choose where life stands in our life. I believe once we make the choice that we must stand by our conviction regardless of the noise that we always going to hear in the background. Life in, is about adjusting to everyday circumstances, being able to make the right decision based on what we believe in. The extreme value of another one's life and being able to adjust to secondary changes. Life in is about love for one another based on our character, not our color or skin or religion. You had to teach your four beautiful kids and you also had to adjust because you're in the business every day. Can you tell me what your thoughts is? On what I just read, and that's my latest uh, publication that's coming out. That sounds amazing. That sounds like it's going to be a very powerful book. Um, you know, life is. You know, when you're a parent, it's you know, it's something, something always. You know, I have four kids that were, you know, from mid, my oldest is 10 years older than my youngest. And so we had teenagers and we had a little one. And it was, um, you know, there were always life challenges. And, and, then, and then I explained that to them, you know, it, it, as a kid, you know, there's always going to be things that you got to experience. They experience things in school and with friends and, you know, um, being, they were always part of the arts when they were kids, so they experienced, you know, rejection. If they didn't get a part in a, a production, my son, uh, my oldest, is an actor, and his first role was a frog in a play. And he was about eight, nine years old, and he was like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, this is not it. I want to be Denzel, mommy." I, my my line in the play was ribbit. I don't want to play uh, a frog anymore. So, that was for him. That was a challenge, and he was determined not to play that type of role again. And but he knew then he wanted to be an actor, but he had to overcome that. He had to prove that he could handle a role and play, you know, other characters other than uh, a frog. And so um, he he really pushed at that to the point where. Um, his faith was so big that we had to relocate to California. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it was a journey in there. There's another story in there. But, um, yeah, um, you know, even still, you know, now they're all adults and they deal with adult issues and, and life challenges as adults. And we, we constantly have conversation. And, you know, I come from a family that, you know, even when you're grown, you still 
need counsel. And so that has been, you know, it's my role as a mom and now a grandma. Wow. So. You, you know, uh, just in case our, our listening audience don't know, uh, Kendra Berry. Uh, was the little boy uh, that was in Girlfriends uh, that grew up and had uh, several uh, seasons with them. And uh, I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of you, Talisha. Not just Kendra, and I don't want the girls to think that I forgot about them. <laughs> I mean, but uh, that's where uh, uh, that started from, and you are such a courageous woman. <laughs> and Michelle, I'm going to turn that back over to her uh, right now. Talisha, on December 4th, 2021, you received an honorary doctorate of philosophy degree for your contributions to literary arts. Can you describe to the listening audience how you felt about receiving this honor? Three minutes. <laughs> that was amazing. It was such a huge, huge, unexpected thing. Um, I was like, wow, you know, at, at one time in my life, I was on that journey to getting my uh, master's, and I was like, I'm going to get that doctrine, and those things didn't happen. So it was a blessing, blessing to uh, receive an honorary doctorate. You know, you never know who's watching or seeing your, you know, your contributions or accomplishments, and I, I had no idea. You know, I, I, I've just been traveling through life just doing what I do, but I didn't know. Um, you know, and that to be be recognized for that, that was a huge, huge heartfelt honor and it was a beautiful ceremony in Atlanta. Wow. I saw those coming years ago because of the person that you are and your character. And life is all about character. With that being said, Talisha, can you uh, just uh, tell our this listen audience what it what is like and we you, you only got 45 seconds staying true to your self authentic self you know what I, I say this to women all the time you got to be true to yourself because you know you're you know you're you're your you're your person you you are the person that you have to rely on for everything and so you got to be true to yourself. You got to make sure that you're happy first. You're pleased with you. You know what I mean? You got to love yourself. And going through the challenges in my life, that was one thing I needed to learn: is to love myself, be true and honest to myself first about everything. You have to know yourself, Absolutely. love yourself, Absolutely. accept yourself Absolutely. before you Absolutely. share yourself. And those are the challenges that uh, we have learned over the last few years together, working together. I am so proud of you, my friend. I am so proud of you. I look forward to working with you. Uh, I mean, always. I'm working with you almost every day. But uh, I look forward to working with you on the projects that we got uh, planned. And I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to come on my show again. Now, Talisha, you already know, you got an open platform. You got an open platform uh, on my show anytime. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, oh, thank you. I love your show. I love your show. That's why I'm always pushing people over here. Go on that show. So, <laughs> yes, I love the show. I love you, Michelle. You know, we got to give Michelle a She's going to be in Courageous Woman magazine, too. It's just that time. It, it, so, it, it, if you can it, convince it, her to do so, any of those so, things, so, uh, so. You, if you can convince her to do those things, and you know how Michelle is. Uh, hey, hey, Talisha, thank you so much. I'd like to thank my great, great uh, co-host, Michelle Cooley, for taking the time. I'd like to thank my great producer, North England. Most importantly, I'd like to thank our listener on for tuning in every night. I tell you, we're always looking for sponsors so we can continue to bring this great mess. We'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place. It's your life. I'm James Cole. Thanks for joining us for It's Your Life with James. Good one, bud. Oh, man. About Good James, one, man. how you can support the show or become a guest. Show tomorrow, my cool. friend. Well, I, I hope it lives up to your expectations, man, because now I'm on uh, pins and needles. Well, every show that I To do, help you become equipped uh, today for the now. challenge. Yeah. Expectations. The reason being is you, you taught me where, brother. <laughs> hey. You, you've been listening to the shows lately. You know what you done taught us. And uh, I I would be remorse not to tell our listening audience, whoever that might be, uh, that uh, 
the reason that we are doing what we're doing is my great producer, uh, director, talk show host, Noah Dingley, has really taken the time to teach us. Talisha? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, it's, you will. I'll tell you what, i got to get back to this. Uh, this Talisha? Interview. I will talk to you later. All right. Talisha. You got it? Talisha? Yeah, turn it. Um, she turned the volume up. Let me call her. Uh, she. And I got text. I chatted her to sell to her. Talisha, can you hear me? Talisha, turn your volume up. And no, can you tell her to uh, uh, that the shit was over <laughs> and turn the volume up? Talisha, can you hear me? Talisha, can you hear us? Hang up the phone. Uh, uh, uh. Can you hear me now, Talisha? Talisha, can you hear us? Talisha? Oh, good. Great. <laughs> great. Great interview. Great interview. Oh, before I forget, did you see, did you uh, read that text I sent you yesterday about that woman? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to that. Yeah. Um, one of my friends, um, she's in a sorority, and that woman came to speak to um, her sorority, and I looked that woman up. I was like, oh, okay. So I just thought it'd be interest um, for you as well. So that's why I sent that link to you. Okay. Oh, hold on one second. James wants to chat with you. Hey, how you doing? Ella, come on. Hey. Hey, absolutely on, fantastic right. uh, show. Come on. And I, I, I truly mean it. I'm, I'm just telling you. Uh, fantastic show. Uh, wow. <laughs> you are fantastic. I, did, I, I thought I had a bite. I was like, oh my God, I can't hear Oops, that. sorry, Bella. Uh, oh, that's okay, but, but it was okay. Uh, in the beginning, uh, as we know, I was saying, like, I can't hear you. But after that, it, it, everything locked in, and uh, I was listening to the show as well. So uh, it will be released later on tonight podcast by 12 o'clock tomorrow, uh, and uh, as I said, Talisha, I mean this, you have an open platform to come on my show anytime. Now, things are going to change after tomorrow, I already told you uh, about certain things. That's why I was trying to get your peeps in, uh, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that one. They said they were too busy, uh, and we good. Uh, that's what uh, Z, Z said, uh, that they are too busy uh, and like, uh, yeah, hey, uh, uh, too busy, uh, contact her. Uh, and, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted, they, that's, who said, that's who I go through. So they have to show up and she has to call them and, you know, so that, that's important. The oh, no, 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 but we good. We, we can still get them on, but, uh, Tomorrow, the last free show, but like I said, other than you, <laughs> and I'm just going to be real because that, that, that goes out to every, everybody. Uh, so, um, unless it's somebody that we just have to, I mean, so that's how those things are uh, because uh, we are a PR company as well on that. Uh, so, that's just how that is. Uh, but uh, I, I, I want to say that... Uh, you know, uh, continue doing what you're doing to Alicia. Um, it, I would love to get you in studio. I don't know if you'll come to Dallas. I, and I do have a, a potential courageous woman tomorrow, if you can listen to the show. I'm not going to say a whole lot about it right now because I really got to get her on to make sure that I'm not going to throw my name behind somebody that. Might not be, I mean, I don't know. I mean, uh, live is going to present everything and tomorrow in, in this and that, not just word, mere words. Uh, but I believe that this might be a candidate for you. I mean, and that being said, I can't say that I know a whole lot more 
uh, about that other than my conversations. If I see somebody that's a great candidate for courageous woman or whatever that you're doing, I would I would just tell you. And uh, you know. <laughs> well we'll see. All right. So you're not so there's a couple artists and type Latoya is not on tomorrow. Uh no. They uh I mean Talisha, I don't have time to be picking up the phone, calling everybody and saying, Hey, you gotta do this because we have no no. Uh to be honest with you is like they uh Z said they're too busy. Uh it's like I'm inviting you on the show. Turn this nope. off. Uh, yeah, please yeah. turn it off. No.